I've always wanted to be an acquirer myself and I wanted to do something after watching a lot of the programmes on TV that involve all the choirs. Um, so I was sitting at home the one night and I just said, it was one of that programmes was on, and I said, I would love to do that. And my husband said, well, why don't you just do it? And I said, I don't, I'm not musical, you know, I can sing, but I can't do any composing, writing, playing or anything. And I was like, I couldn't lead people because I wouldn't know how to do it. So he said, well, put a post on Facebook and see if anything comes back. So I did it, and the same night Cameron messaged me saying, let's do it, and that's, that's basically how it started. Well, when we eventually got around to booking the hall and having the first meeting, I did about 25 copies of the music. We sent out 30 chairs, and I was kind of shaking my head, saying, we're never going to fill our list seats. And quite a few folk turned up. We ended up tapping out extra chairs, and extra chairs, and more extra chairs. Shirley did go to the car, and she came back in, and she says, Cameron, there's hundreds of folk in the car park. And on my first night, we had about 100, well, we had 109 folk uh, who turned up. It, it completely exceeded our expectations. I spent most of the first rehearsal apologising for not having enough music, not having enough chairs, not being organised enough for, for quite such a big number of people. But uh, we were thrilled, and I mean, we're regularly at about the 90 mark. Some folk have tailed off and new folk have come, but it's it far exceeded what we expected, which is you can throw on maybe a couple of dozen folk might like to join. What we found is that folk get really enthusiastic and when that enthusiasm builds, your confidence builds and the skill has really built up. We've only been gone just over a year but uh, we found a, a huge difference in the length of time it takes us to sort of crack, break the back of a song. Um, the first one of the first songs we did it took us about nine weeks just to bash the notes and, and get folk you can, who maybe weren't a, a, didn't have much experience singing in parts to get, get singing parts. And uh, this year when we started, Elaine introduced us to a new song and said, you can, we're hoping to do this at a fundraiser in Orford. And that was only three rehearsals away. And uh, I think because folk were just that keen and had built up that bit of confidence, we managed to do that in three weeks. I think we just want to welcome anybody who wants to sing. I think there's so many musical opportunities in Orkney, which is just fantastic. But a lot of them, folk feel that they're under a wee bit of pressure. You know, there's concerts coming up, um, big performances. You know, like um, the Festival Chorus is just a wonderful thing to be part of. But if you kind of read the music, it's a really big challenge. So we thought, well, Cheryl and Cameron thought, and then phoned me up. What about a choir where just anybody could come? And it should be fun. And if you can only come one Wednesday and you can't come for the next four because you're working or you've got childcare issues or something, it doesn't matter. Just come when you can and sing. So that's what we did for the first few while. But then there was just this kind of need to perform. I suppose it maybe always happens. You get a group of folk together, they're good. <laughs> Even though they're um, not experienced or they can't read the music or so many of them said they haven't sung since they were at school and it's a wee while since they've been at school. Um, but just the need to perform kind of came out of nowhere. So then we did a first concert for our friends and family, three songs I think we did. And then people were like, why did you not charge? Well, you could have given the money to charity, you could have had the money for more music. So okay, right, we'll have a concert. So that's how we ended up in the cathedral in March. Christmas in my first year, 
a few folks said, oh, it can be really nice to do something. So we decided you not know, to do a paid, a paying event, which is said we'll have friends and family along just to let, let your own husband, wife, kids, whatever, see what you've been up to on a Wednesday night. And it was packed out. It was over 200 folk came along and it was just an absolutely brilliant night. So after that, I think again that built folks' confidence and a few folk mentioned to us that it might be a nice idea to put on some kind of a concert. No, we did make it clear that our aim wasn't necessarily to perform, it was just to gather folk on a Wednesday night. But we put it out there and the majority of folks said yes, we would like to do it. So for our first concert I got in touch with a lot of the other singing groups in Orkney who all came in and did a slot and it was one of the best nights I've ever heard. Uh, the, the huge variety of singing that was there, a lot of different uh, styles of singing and a lot of different uh, composers and inputs and that kind of thing, and it was absolutely great. Our first, our first big concert, obviously being in the St. Michael's Cathedral was pretty huge as well, because like I said, we didn't start to perform, we just kind of ended up performing, and for uh, the first one to be in somewhere as brilliant as the Cathedral was a big highlight. by the members of the, of the choir who want to do it and well we've recently joined in a professional concert with, with the Scottish tenor Jamie McDougall and he came with, with sell away over 200 tickets and had a really super uh, audience in the cathedral. disciplined <laughs> but they're lovely and they're so enthusiastic they make me because I do the same thing all day not exactly the same but the same kind of thing sometimes I come in and I think here we go again and then they just make me smile because they are so funny <laughs>
or singing groups and choirs in Orkney. Um, quite a number of them uh, had members that are quite accomplished musicians and singers, thought that there maybe a background in singing. But what we set out to do was provide a night of the week that folk could leave the house, come out and you can just have a sing if they wanted. You can, no formal training is required to be in Orkney Rocks. It's really, it, it is just a night of the week that you can get out of the house, come along and have a sing.